Some of the ICT-related services recommended in the research are SMS and email. However, these services have one challenge. The message might not be understood by the recipient due to language barrier. Therefore, some taxpayers prefer face-to-face -face encounter with service providers. Sometimes when you open a service on the mobile phone, the prompts are in English or French, and you get lost. Our wish is to have Kenya Rwanda app to help us. Logan Watt, Executive Secretary of the African Tax Administration Forum, ATF, said Rwanda Revenue Authority must expand its investment in technologies to be able to reach out to many taxpayers. So we've seen in this instance that by merely directing the communication of the taxpayer by name, issuing letters and SMSs to the individual, it has shifted tax compliance amongst company and personal taxpayers by 20%, gaining an additional $9 million US dollars in revenue for Rwanda. So that is quite significant. So the important part here to understand is investing in improved communication mechanisms for Rwanda Revenue Authority. The Commissioner General of Rwanda Revenue Authority, Richard Tusabe, said the research will guide them in revamping its operations, especially to better understand the taxpayers. The research has helped us to realize that we have to know the taxpayers. Whether the taxpayer we are having now records is the one receiving the messages. We have to revisit our tax registers to know whether the taxpayers still have the original address and telephone numbers. We are going to reorganize our tax register to make sure we have the correct data about the taxpayer. At the launch of the research, the importance of updating a taxpayer about their tax compliance was emphasized before the deadline expires or before penalties are enforced.